Good morning. Welcome to Maysville this morning. If you are visiting with us, we are thankful that you have chosen uh, to be with us this morning. Hope we're all able to benefit from our class time together this past hour. Uh, if you are visiting or are not familiar with our uh, meeting times, 9 o'clock for our Bible study on Sunday mornings and 10 o'clock now for our worship and uh, 5 p.m. in the evening for our evening worship and at 7 o'clock on Wednesdays for our midweek Bible study. And I hope you have the chance to come back and be with us again soon. If you are visiting and don't mind filling out one of the blue cards on the pew backs, we'd love to have a record of your attendance and uh, any awareness that we can have to, to help you in the future. Please let us know. If you want to go ahead and mark the opening song, number 790, It'll be the opening song this morning, 790. Had a uh, recent prayer request submitted to me. Uh, Ron Wisnant's uncle, Leon Wisnant, is uh, in the hospital right now with pneumonia and uh, is not doing well and requests uh, prayers upon him and his family right now and his struggle. If you have any youth information that needs to be uh, submitted for the youth newsletter, uh, please get that to Seth or Jill Bowen. Is there a uh, deadline on that information, Mr. Seth? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, take your time. No, no, no. By, by the end of by the end of September, uh, get the youth information to either Seth or Jill so they can collaborate that for us, and uh, they do a, a great job with that. So make sure you thank them if you haven't already. Also, have a couple of cards this morning. Um, thank you. Uh, following my recent surgery, I received a flood of cards and many uh, from your classes, service groups, and individuals. Your prayers and encouragement were greatly appreciated. Surgery went well, and I'm recovering nicely. Thank you so very much. Uh, may the Lord richly bless you in your work. And Christian love, Jack Orbison, Tim's father. Also from the uh, Laura Sanford family, thank you for your thoughtfulness during a uh, time of sadness. I appreciate it so much, and please keep praying for us. Also, I hope you picked up a bulletin this morning. There are several announcements uh, in that that you need to be made aware of. Uh, teens, don't forget about your Devo this evening. Uh, tonight after services you're asked to bring uh, snacks and soft drinks and also you're asked to bring a friend uh, so bring someone with you tonight as y'all have your uh, teen devo this evening also make a note in your calendar our monthly fellowship dinner will be next Sunday night after services uh, service team six will be coordinating this uh, celebrating birthdays and anniversaries we don't have a, a theme set just yet but we'll uh, make that announcement hopefully by this evening and uh, let everyone know what uh, food to prepare for that Ladies, a couple of announcements for you. Uh, Ladies Helping Hands will meet Thursday, September 29th at 2 p.m. for a work session here at the building. And um, also, ladies, you'll be having a retreat coming up. This is November 11th through the 13th, and they'll be going to the Smoky Mountains. And if you have interest in getting involved in that, uh, please contact Libby Orbison uh, so that we can make arrangements and uh, sort of an RSVP to get a head count. Also, prime timers, don't forget about your get-together uh, day trip coming up this, uh, this Tuesday. I'll be going to a Crow Mountain Apple Orchard and uh, on the way home stop in Scottsboro for lunch. So um, please make plans if you're a prime timer. And uh, if you want more information on that, you can check in with uh, Jack Taylor to get some details. Also, we had uh, our college kids go off uh, this year for school. Those addresses have been posted here in the bulletin. If anybody's been left off, uh, please get that information in to Joy Marshall or Betty Hall uh, so that we can keep in contact with the young guys and girls and uh, encourage them while they're away from us. I believe that's all the announcements I have this morning. Let's all join together in our worship. We'll have our closing prayer at the conclusion by Brother Victor Taylor and opening prayer right now by Brother David Robinson. Let's all join together. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, as we come before you this morning, we pray that we can set the cares and worries of the world aside and realize that we're here to worship you this morning, that we hold you up, realize that you are holy, that you are mighty, that you are our creator, that everything that we have is because of you. Father, we praise your name and pray that everything that we do is according to your will. Father, we thank you for your your son who shed his blood so that we could have forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for the life that he lived, the example that he set, the death that he died, all for us, to show your love for us and how much you loved us. 
Father, we thank you for the church here at Maysville and the work that it does. We thank you for the many activities that take place. Father, we pray that these activities will also always focus on you and that we'll always realize that the purpose of them is to help the, the church grow and spread the gospel, to help those around us. Father, we pray that we'll always look for ways to help each other, to show kindness to others, to take care of each other. Use those things to open the doors to be able to teach each other. Father, we pray for those who are sick. Father, we think about Andrea Kepner and Mr. Wizant, Brother Orbison, others who are sick. Pray that you'll be with them and help them to improve, help them to be stronger, help them to have a good quality of life. Father, you answer so many prayers, and we always want to be thankful for those things. Help us to remember that as we call upon you in our time of need, not to forget you when things are going well. Father, we thank you for the country that we live in. Pray for those who are overseas protecting us. Father, pray that the, the work that they do overseas will open doors for the gospel to be spread, especially in those Muslim countries where the doors are closed. Father, we also pray for the missionaries throughout the world. Give them the strength and the courage, the support that they need to carry your word to them. Father, we pray that you be with us this morning in everything that we do. Help us to always focus on you and live our lives in a way so that we can have a home in heaven when we die. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Number 790. Number 790. Let's everyone join in, please. <clears throat> in vain and high and holy lays my soul in great full voice would raise for who can sing the worthy praise of the wonderful love of Jesus? Wonderful love, wonderful love, wonderful love of Jesus. Wonderful love, wonderful love, wonderful love of Jesus. A joy by day, a peace by night in storms, a calm in darkness, light in pain, above in weakness, might is the wonderful love of Jesus. Wonderful love, wonderful love, wonderful love of Jesus. Wonderful love, wonderful love, wonderful love of Jesus. My hope for pardon when I call my trust for lifting when I fall in life and death. My all in all is the wonderful love of Jesus. Wonderful love, wonderful love, wonderful love of Jesus. Wonderful love, wonderful love, wonderful love of Jesus. 874, 874. We're about to partake of the feast that Jesus endorsed when he was here living to partake of the bread and the fruit of the vine to remember his blood and his body that was given up for us at Calvary. And by doing that and primarily by his resurrection today and his living again at the right hand of God, he is our Lord. Jesus is Lord. Let's sing this before we partake of his supper. <clears throat> Jesus is Lord, my Redeemer, how he loves me, how I love him, he is risen, he is coming. Lord. 
Lord, come quickly. Alleluia. Precious is he, he that cometh, I will. of glory I will join him Alleluia He still loves me me the sinner what a If I lost him, but he owns me, me the sinner, praise our Father, we're so thankful that we have the privilege to gather around this table to remember your son's death on the cross. We pray, Father, you help us to reflect back to the trials that he suffered, the punishment his body took, the piercing that took place, and the pain and suffering. We pray, Father, that as we partake of this loaf that represents his body, we'll think of the things that he did to sacrifice himself for us. We ask in Christ's name. Amen.
Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we continue our remembrance of our Lord and Savior by partaking of this cut, cup which represents his blood to us. Father, we pray that everyone will clear their thoughts this morning and reflect back on the supreme sacrifice that was made and the love that was shown for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number 698, 698, we have this opportunity to give back monetarily to God and his kingdom this morning. We're again reminded that God has already thought of us. He thinks of us daily more than we realize and cares for us and should beckon us to give back to him freely this morning. Let's sing the first and the uh, last stanzas, please. <clears throat> Amid the, amid the trials which I meet, amid the thorns which pierce my feet, one thought remains supremely sweet, thou thinkest, Lord, of me, thou thinkest, Lord, of me, thou thinkest, Lord, of me. shadows go, let life be bright or dark with wool. I am content for this I know, thou thinkest, Lord, of me. Thou thinkest, Lord, of me. Thou thinkest, Lord, of me. Lord of me. 
Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we're so grateful for all the things that you do for us. We realize that we are undeserving of, of your love and undeserving of the sacrifice that your son made and undeserving of the blessings that you give us, but how great you are that you give freely. And we just ask that you give us the heart of a servant. And as we give back of uh, the things that you have blessed us with, we pray that we might also give back of our, our time and effort to always try to tell others about you and your son and how great a blessing that is. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please mark number 255, 255, we'll sing that after the lesson. And now number 345, 345. If you'd like to, please stand, we'll sing this together. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my Lord thou hast told me to say, it is well. scroll 
eso morning. Welcome to Maysville. You've already had an official welcome from Brother Michael, but we'd like to add just a word of that and let you know how much we do appreciate you being here. It is a special privilege on the Lord's Day to be able to gather together to worship. We're thankful that you are with us at Maysville, both our family members who are members here and those who may be visiting with us. We appreciate the opportunity to be together. We had one